our Earth was formed some 4.6 billion years ago, and since then, it hasn't stopped spinning. But what if it did? What would happen to us? Would it affect our daily lives? Of course, yes. If the Earth stopped spinning today, we'd be faced with catastrophic circumstances that would cripple all human activity on the planet. Currently, the Earth moves about a thousand miles every hour at the equator, and although it doesn't appear obvious, we all move along with it. Stop the planet in its tracks this minute, and everything inside of it, including you, would be sent flying eastwards at more than a thousand miles per hour. Imagine flying through countries or perhaps continents at over 1,000 miles per hour. That might be your chance to finally become the superhero you've always dreamed of. But unfortunately, there wouldn't be time to relish the moment. You wouldn't even be able to take a snapshot of your superhero achievement because you will be joined in the air by trees, animals, cars, trucks, skyscrapers and all sorts of structures basically everything else that sits on the surface of the planet. Ordinarily, the wind should be strong enough to send you flying into space. However, Earth's gravity would still be in place, so thankfully you and all the other flying debris won't be launched into space. If you were at the North or South Poles when the Earth stopped spinning, you might be lost as to what's happening because the angular velocity at these locations is zero, meaning people within this region will still be able to live their normal lives. However, the events that will follow would disrupt the activities in the North and South Poles. In fact, it would be much more disastrous and more frightening than your worst nightmare. Enormous tidal waves, giant storms and flying debris travelling at hypersonic speeds about four times more than the deadliest winds ever experienced on our planet. For perspective, the strongest wind ever recorded on Earth, not including tornadoes, was during tropical cyclone Olivia in 1996. It moved at 407 kilometers per hour, 252 miles per hour, and destroyed assets worth $47.5 million at the time, which is worth around $1 billion today. The impact and damage that would be done by this storm would be about four times more than what we witnessed during Tropical Cyclone Olivia. But let's say you somehow develop supernatural powers and become the proverbial cat with nine lives. You may be able to survive this event. However, you'd be faced with more unprecedented events, even worse than tidal waves, giant storms and debris flying at over 1,000 miles per hour. After a period of terrorizing the planet, the intense winds would eventually subside, but the next phase of suffering will immediately follow. As we all know, the circulating air is deflected clockwise in the northern hemisphere and anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere, and this creates the Coriolis effect, which dictates the climate conditions and air currents across the planet. All of these will be disrupted if the Earth stopped to spin. So, on one hand, we will be safe from natural disasters like hurricanes and tornadoes. This would do us a lot of good, actually, because natural disasters kill an average of 45,000 people every year. And in 2021, the United States lost over $300 billion to natural disasters. However, these losses would be insignificant compared to what will follow next. We'll witness events with serious consequences, worse than the damage that is by hurricanes, tornadoes or other natural disasters that we experience on Earth today. For instance, all of the world's water bodies will be collected into two large polar oceans, separated by a belt of land. Everything north of Spain would be submerged under salty water, including all of Antarctica and ocean depths will drop by 8 kilometers at the equator, and a new megacontinent will be formed. Deserts will become tropical regions, and rainforests will become arid. In fact, only a few creatures like microbes and penguins would be left alive. The day and night sequences as we have it now will be disrupted as well. In theory, a non-spinning Earth would still continue to rotate around the sun and will create a new norm. We would have six months of daylight, followed by six months of darkness, just like it is at the South Pole in our current world. The first few weeks of this new life would be interesting. The temperature wouldn't change too much, but your body will definitely struggle to acclimatise and your sleep cycle will be messed up. Workaholics will most likely love the idea though, because they will have more time to work. 
But over time, the temperature would rise to unbelievable levels, reaching somewhere around 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The next six months of darkness will see temperature drop significantly. The night sky will feature the moon and stars, but rather move across like they do presently, they'll be stuck in one position. However, other planets in the solar system will still move across the sky, but chances are you'll never get to sight planets like Neptune and Uranus during the six months of darkness because of their extended orbits. But you'd be treated to some lovely sights by other planets like Mercury, Venus and Mars. However, the viewing party will be interrupted by even more problems that will require impressive problem-solving skills to solve. At the moment, our body is tailored to the usual 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. Adjusting to six months of daylight and six months of absolute darkness will take a huge toll on the human body physically and mentally. There's a good chance you'll need the services of a psychologist to help tackle the mental stress that would come with the new climate conditions. Another important cycle that would be disrupted if the Earth suddenly stopped spinning is the magnetic field. This would be perhaps the most dangerous of all the events that have been happening, simply because the Earth's magnetic field is responsible for protecting our atmosphere from being destroyed by solar storms and cosmic radiation. And once it is no longer in place, the Earth will be susceptible to solar flares, which would destroy every living and non-living thing on the planet. If you are lucky enough to be alive, you will literally have to become a nomad and alternate between living on land and underground to survive. And if somehow there are other humans of the opposite sex, you could all start a nomadic tribe as long as you're able to provide food. But will the Earth really stop spinning someday? According to scientists, friction effects associated with tides propelled by the moon have caused the Earth to slow down over time. This means the length of a typical day on Earth increases by 2.3 milliseconds every 100 years. This means that some several billion years ago, a day on Earth was around 20 to 21 hours. A continuation of this sequence would have perhaps seen the Earth come to a halt sometime in the future. But thankfully, the Earth appears to have taken another direction in the last 20,000 years, speeding up its rotation. Theorists only made the discovery in 2020, but so far they don't seem to have an explanation for this phenomenon. Even atomic clocks and astrological measurements have proved insufficient in explaining the sudden increase in the Earth's rotation speed. But scientists wouldn't care anyway, because it only means the Earth is not about to stop spinning anytime soon.